state without any revolution and without any riots and dead people in the streets, we, we should uh, press this current government until they declare the uh, free election. Uh, so if we will manage to do it in three years or five years or in one year, I will take part in this election and of course I will be struggling for the leading position. I have no idea what kind of new system of, uh, of the state will be designed and what kind of position will be available. But I think uh, of course I will take part in this election and we need this election. Hang on a second. Basically, don't you think that actually spending life just to fight Putin to become anti-Putin is a bit senseless and when you offer to vote for any other party just in case to vote United Russia is like, I mean, it's definitely no sense because do you see any opposition in Russia you would uh, you want to see in your government? Do you like, do you think they are different in any way? And actually, what the sense of becoming anti-Putin? Uh, that is a good question. Uh, a lot of people uh, in Russia and a lot of people here or in the US, they just obsessed with Putin. Uh, I'm not, I'm not. And uh, it's not about Putin. Of course, I mention Putin just to, uh, to describe you and to, for you to easy to understand. But the problem is not Putin. We should uh, create new barrier and uh, create new barrier for the system. And we should change, we should try to change the system. It doesn't matter who is Putin or Medvedev or other people. But uh, we, are, we live in the real world. And right now, right now, for the, uh, or tomorrow, we should uh, choose what's the way of the, uh, uh, making our country better. We should choose what the most efficient way. And right now, for this particular moment, I uh, appeal to the people and I want them to vote against United Russia. Uh, could you give me uh, any better option for that struggle tomorrow? Well, uh, I'm afraid we'll have to take that Thank you. 
instructor for this pipeline is the Mr. Rotenberg, who is the former shooter coach of Putin. And of course, Schroeder, I, I, I don't want to say that Schroeder himself taking you know, bags with the cash or something like this, but he's definitely uh, covering this corruption. And there is a very, very suspicious cooperation between uh, Russian and Italian politicians. Look, uh, look at the UK. Uh, in theory, you have a lot of very interesting tools to fight corruption. Uh, you, you here have a lot of tools uh, using uh, which we can fight corruption in Russia, for example, Bribery Act. Under the Bribery Act, all uh, individuals and companies who are involved in bribery and uh, corruption can be prosecuted here in Great Britain, in theory. But in practice, we found uh, all uh, UK officials very reluctant to it. And you have a huge lobby of bankers who are making IPO for companies and attorneys who are making this IPO. So uh, this is the very big problem because uh, we still uh, we still cannot uh, have a very good cooperation with the uh, kind of Russian anti-corruption activists and uh, UK, for example, activists. Uh, UK ambassador in Moscow is writing an article in the Russian newspaper Premier Sun about let's use primary act to fight against corruption in Russia. But uh, when we're filing complaints to the civil for workers, there is no any response. So, but we are going to work on it, and I, I'm sure that we, are, uh, we will do something interesting in this area. Problem is that, uh, unfortunately, the top-level politicians they think that there, there are two types of agenda: this kind of small agenda, I don't know, corruption, Litvinenko, or something else, real and huge agenda, nuclear proliferation, anti-missile defense. And uh, stuff like this. So, and they think that they just can ignore the small agenda in the name of big agenda. But actually, it doesn't work. But they cannot do something with the big agenda and really put the question with the small agenda. They still ignore. Uh, man here at the front.
Hi Ben. Um, I was wondering where you see yourself and the anti-corruption movement in the context of Russian history and uh, kind of the dissident movement. Uh, and secondly, do you, are you finding, given uh, given your methodologies at the moment, the, whether the elite are, uh, are using more sophisticated methods to hide their corruption? Um, is that something you're finding? So I told you about British Russian Empire was, and Russia in this moment don't have 